What's going on everybody? Welcome back to another video. Today I want to talk about how silver and gold seem to be on the move upward and I also want to talk about a little bit of a be your own bank part two, a little bit of an update or an expansion on yesterday's video. But really quick, just in case you're new, make sure to subscribe for daily videos. Also subscribe to my second channel which is my backup channel for exclusive weekly content. Brand new video over there, go check it out. The link will be in the description trying to hit a thousand subscribers, getting pretty close. And if you wanna help support the channel by getting some DYDSS merchandise, of course we have some precious metal theme t-shirts and hoodies which are up for grabs, along with a ton of other products, t-shirts, hoodies, even stickers, many of which are raising funds and awareness for different charity organizations. Any and all merchandise can be found by clicking the first link in the description section down below. Thank you in advance, it's more than appreciated. And today I wanted to talk about a couple different things and I want to start out by briefly doing a little bit of a be your own bank part two. Anybody who watched yesterday's video knows that I talked about this. I said how you can just essentially be your own bank with silver, gold, and of course, a little bit of cash as well. Be your own bank, build your own bank. I'm a big believer in self-sufficiency and doing things on your own and independently. I talked about how I have silver coming in the mail within the next couple of days because I'm in the process of building my own bank. I said I have books coming in the mail because I'm in the process of building my own library. And I said I had new workout equipment, some of which arrived today. It's these new barbell thickening grips to help improve hand, wrist, and forearm strength. If you want more information on this, I'm more than happy to make a second channel video. Let me know. But I wanted to talk about being your own bank because obviously you can do this by stacking silver, gold, and cash on your own in a safe or somewhere in your house or somewhere in your possession rather than relying on the bank. And one thing that I neglected to mention in yesterday's video, I talked about almost everything that I wanted to talk about, but one thing that I missed, one thing that I did not mention was the silver, the gold, the money that's in your possession, the dollar bills, the fiat, the currency that's in your possession. If you are holding on to those things on your own by yourself without having a bank, a company, an entity overseeing how much you have or what you're doing with it, just completely independently, one thing that you'll never ever have to worry about is an overdraft fee. I don't believe there's a single safe in the world that's gonna hit you with an overdraft fee if you take out too much silver. Because if you have, let's just say, a thousand ounces in there, it's physically not possible to take out a thousand and one ounces of silver. It's not possible, you can't do it. So that's one funny little thing that I was supposed to say in yesterday's video, but I didn't get a chance to do so or completely slip my mind. Now, I wanna talk about how silver and gold appear to be on the move. So you can't see it in the camera right now, but over to the left, I have a couple of the charts pulled up and silver is up, gold is up. And the funny thing is, or the interesting thing is, something that I noticed as well, stock market is down or maybe not all together but my portfolio it's in the red today but gold and silver seem to be making its way up now let's talk about gold first current spot price as i'm recording the video is one thousand eight hundred nine dollars and ten cents this coincidentally well for the last couple of days gold has held its own in, in staying above the $1,800 mark. But what I found interesting is that right now gold, this is almost a 10 year high. I think it's like maybe a eight or nine year high right now. Let's see, the last time gold was above 1,800 bucks was 2011, it seems, according to the chart I'm looking at. It came pretty close in October of 2012, but according to the chart, not quite there. But right now, at this very specific point in time as I'm recording the video, gold is above 1800 bucks. 
only by a few dollars, but it's still above that $1,800 mark. Now silver, let's switch on over to silver. Silver, as I'm recording the video, is $18.76. So at this very specific point in time, as I'm recording the video, silver is actually closer to $19 than $18. It's more than halfway there between the $18 and $19 mark. Not that one buck is all that significant, but with silver being essentially dirt cheap, in my opinion at least, going up or down a dollar makes a pretty big difference, believe it or not. So, silver, it in no way, shape, or form is a 10-year high. It's actually closer to a 10-year low, but if I'm looking at the chart over here, for the last five years, it's been eh, kind of sporadic in between 13 and $20. For the last one year, it's been pretty consistent, minus what we saw happen toward the end of March of 2020, just a couple months ago, when silver crashed down, gold took a little bit of a hit as well, the entire stock market got smacked entire economy, entire planet, if we're going to go there. But right now, it seems to have made a little bit of a comeback. It's pretty much sitting at exactly where it was prior to it crashing. Before it crashed, it was about $17, which is where silver has been for the last month or so. Got back up into the $17 range in the middle of May, to my understanding. And it hasn't really moved all that much. It went up a couple of cents, it went down a couple of cents, but now it surpassed the $18 mark. And it's closer to $19 than $18. Now, we did see, for about a day, we did see silver go above $19. I believe it went to $19.50. I want to say towards September, September or October, we saw silver go up and above $19 an ounce. And I don't know if necessarily that's going to happen again right now. I don't know if just because it's slightly below $19, I don't necessarily think that that means it is for a fact going to be going above $19. But it is on the move, and it could potentially happen. I think if there's one thing silver and gold has taught us, it's that, first and foremost, anything is possible. And second, and arguably more importantly, when the dollar bill, when fiat, when currency becomes weaker, real true money becomes stronger. And that was a concept that I was already familiar with. That was one of the reasons I was stacking to begin with. I've only been in for about two and a half years, but that's one of the reasons that I got started. It was a way to preserve my wealth for the long term, and it was a way that I could use silver and gold as essentially a hedge against inflation. And if and when the dollar bill becomes weaker, I can pretty much assume that my silver and gold will become stronger. And I was familiar with the concept, but everything that happened toward the middle or end of March of this year, just a couple months ago when the entire planet got shut down, it was proof. It was some reassurance. And I don't know if anybody watching right now can relate. I don't know if anybody watching right now can say the same, but that's what it taught me. And it was a little bit of a reminder and it was just, it was kind of its way of showcasing what it's capable of doing. And I think that's great, and that's one of the reasons I got started stacking in the first place. So sitting here in front of me, I do not have a whole lot of anything. I have a little bit of silver, a little bit of gold, a little bit of cash, and it's a pretty easy way of getting started. And as I mentioned in yesterday's video, if you want to stack on your own, it, words are just words. They really don't matter at the end of the day. If you want to call it being your own bank, or if you don't want to call it that, it really doesn't matter. But 
I consider it essentially being your own bank. And if and when you ever need to liquidate, it's very easy to do so because there are always, always, always people looking to get their hands on silver. Right now, the overwhelming majority of us watching this video right now, myself included, I want to get as much silver as I possibly can. And that's what I'm trying my best to do. I'm trying to stack as aggressively as possible while also focusing on a variety of other things as well. And it's the third quarter of the year, which means I'm getting 10% cash back on all purchases made through PayPal. So that's why I got this little bit of, and it's not even just this, I have more. That's why I got a decent amount of 90% silver starting July 1st, and I plan on going as crazy as possible for the rest of July, all of August, and all of September, and I don't plan on slowing down, but I'm just going to be utilizing PayPal for the next couple months because I'm getting that cash back. If you can save some currency while you're stacking that money, you can use that leftover currency to get even more money. So that's the way I see it, and that's the way that I've been doing things, and like I said, in my opinion and from my perspective, I'm obviously not a financial advisor. Nothing on this channel is financial advice, and it's never intended to sound like it's financial advice. It's not what it is. But from my perspective, it really is like being your own bank. You can liquidate at any time. The coin shop, everyone has one in their area. If they are closed or if it's on the weekend or if it's in the middle of the night, you can always put it up for grabs online if you're comfortable doing so. Thousands and thousands and thousands and thousands of people already are, so I personally don't think that there's anything to really worry about, but there's always going to be people looking to get silver. Now, I have the chart pulled up next to me. Let me go back to the chart. Let me rewind April 25th of 2011 and the spot price of silver at that specific point in history was $47.04. Guess what people were doing at 47? People were frantically converting their dollars into silver. Silver could go to $300 an ounce for all I care, and people are still going to be throwing their dollar bills at their local coin shop owners or these online precious metal dealer storefronts. People are completely and totally controlled by the fear of missing out. This is not a good thing for the people who are going through it, but it's an excellent thing for the business owners and it's an excellent thing for the people who are potentially interested in cashing out at that point or at the very least liquidating just a little bit. And people will always be in line looking to get silver, especially when it's up high, especially when it's on the move. Gold included, by the way, but primarily focusing on silver because that's how I stack. I stack by prioritizing silver over gold, but I stack both. The point I'm trying to get across is if you ever need to liquidate, people said back in the day in 2011, it went up to, you know, 35, 40, 45, 50 dollars for such a short period of time. A lot of people missed out on the opportunity to cash out if that's what they wanted to do or to convert their silver into gold if that's what they wanted to do. But here's the thing. We have so many different mediums now. We have a million different social networks. We have smartphones. We have all this technology, which of course we had to an extent in 2011, but fast forward about nine years. We've come a long way in the last nine years, so it's very, very, very easy to part ways with your silver and your gold online if that's what you wanted to do. And that's a part of being your own bank, in my opinion. Not necessarily liquidating, not necessarily parting ways with it, but having the opportunity to do so, having the capability of doing so, and having the option, you don't have to wait for the bank to open and ask for permission to do something with your cash. You don't have to ask permission. And like I said, there's no overdraft fees. 
There's no required minimum balance, otherwise you get hit with a maintenance fee. You don't have to worry about there being a limit to how much you can withdraw per day. You don't need a middleman handing you your own cash. You already have your own cash. Oh, you need a couple 20s? Don't gotta go to the bank. Got a couple 20s right there. Oh, you need more than that? You need maybe a hundred? So it's not just about the silver and the gold. It's not just about liquidating. It's not just about quote unquote selling the silver and the gold. It's not all about parting ways with it. I have no intentions of parting ways with my silver and my gold. I would, in theory, hopefully, if I can time it right, if the spot price of silver were to go up significantly, and let's just say gold doesn't move very much, if the gold to silver ratio gap closes in a little bit, I could see myself one day in the future converting some silver into some gold. I mean, the ratio right now is essentially one ounce of gold for every 100 ounces of silver. You know what that means. Basic math. One-tenth of an ounce of gold for every 10 ounces of silver. This big block of silver here, not that it's all that big or substantial, but bigger piece of silver. This right here, and this little teeny tiny size of a dime gold coin are worth just about the same dollar amount. They have the same fiat price tag if you want to measure your wealth in dollars. So in my opinion and from my perspective, if you're going to convert silver into gold, I don't think now's the most intelligent time to do so. If the gold to silver ratio gap closes in, yeah, absolutely. In my opinion. But I want to know your thoughts in the comment section down below. What are your thoughts on silver and gold right now with gold being right around a nine year high while silver is not necessarily doing anything drastic, but it is getting kind of close to that $19 mark. Do you think it's finally time for silver to go back above 19, back above $20, maybe beyond? Do you think that's in the near future, the next couple of months, sometime this year maybe? Obviously, none of us are psychic, so none of us know for sure. I know we always get people say, Oh yeah, silver's gonna be a very specific price by a very specific date, guaranteed. Screenshot this, you'll thank me later. And every single time in my 2.5 years on YouTube talking about silver and gold, every single person has been wrong. And they've been wrong by a long shot. People, let's be honest, people have been saying for years and years and years, Oh, silver's about to do it. I think people need to stop worrying about silver exploding and just focus on it just slowly but surely gradually increasing in value over time or at the very least holding its value because at the end of the day if you're in silver specifically to make money in my opinion i think you're in the wrong game silver is for saving money kind of like a savings account a physical savings account except not at the bank because we can be our own bank. With all that being said, if you guys enjoyed today's video, please hit that like button. If you guys like me, make sure to subscribe. New videos every single day, 365 days a year. Also subscribe to my second channel, which is my backup channel for exclusive weekly content. Brand new video over there, go check it out. The link will be in the description. Trying really hard to hit 1,000 subscribers and we're getting really close, so help us out. And if you want to help support the channel in the biggest possible way, please consider getting yourself some DYDSS merchandise. Of course, we have some precious metal themed t-shirts and hoodies, which are up for grabs, along with a ton of other products, t-shirts, hoodies, even stickers, many of which are raising funds and awareness for different charity organizations. And of course, the brand new Major Cheese Ball t-shirt, hoodie, sticker, and coffee mug, because evidently those of us who carry silver coins with us in our pocket are apparently major cheese balls. I embrace it and I hope you do too. Any and all merchandise can be found by clicking the first link in the description section down below. Thank you in advance. It's more than appreciated. And once again, I want you guys to head on down to the comments and let me know anything and everything related to being your own bank. Do you like that idea? Do you like that concept? Is that how you view it? 
And also, more importantly, in regards to the spot price of silver and gold right now, with silver being getting kind of close to the $19 mark and gold being at around a nine-year high, what are your thoughts? What are your opinions on that right there? What do you think is going to happen next? Obviously, you don't know for sure, but what do you hope happens next? Let me know in the comments. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you tomorrow. And remember, don't you dare sound smiling. Peace.